Rice has been built on so many wonderful people and foundations, and this is just another confirmation about all the good things that are happening here. Well, kids want to brag about where they go to school. They want to feel proud about the facilities. You know, I think that there's room for improvement on our campus, and I think that's what this is all about. It'd be wonderful if we could do all this for free. <laughs> There's no doubt about that, but we can't. And we have to invest. I've always said that when we invest in a Catholic school, we're investing in the future of our Catholic community and in our students and in the future of the church and society. By having people help and allowing people like myself and there's other people out there that want their children to come because just because their bank accounts aren't as big as other people's they should have this opportunity and that's what this does for people. The tuition is, is really being able to ensure that um, rice is accessible to everyone and for all those who desire faith-based um, education. We want to offer the best programming possible for our students so that they can be the best versions of themselves. We need to be able to have money to invest in professional development for our teachers, technology, new curriculum ideas, and if we're constantly putting money into roof repairs and patches in our kitchen, we can't do that. So if we want Rice to be successful, we've got to invest in our infrastructure, we've got to take care of some lingering issues, and we want to make sure that we're here for the next hundred years. The principal prior to me had actually gone in and saw the, the situation of the building, he uncovered that there was a lot of things that needed to be addressed. And it was a building that hadn't been touched in a long time. And so while the, all the people in the campaigns that, was, that had gone before certainly addressed a massive amount and was hugely successful, there was still way more to do. And so we incurred debt in order to be able to make sure that we were still providing a building for Rice. And so we continue that responsibility of being good stewards of the building. You fall in love with these kids and you just, I mean, you become almost a surrogate parent to them and you want to give them, you know, everything that these other schools have. I have the fondest of memories for Rice and um, had a wonderful experience here and I, when I had the opportunity to send my kids here, it was like, I jumped at it. I just wanted to be able to give that, them that experience. Alex, my second son, who's 19, has decided to come back and coach football on the football team. And next year he's gonna be the head JV coach and they're always on the sidelines. He came back a couple weeks ago and the first thing he did, he says, I gotta go see my teachers to thank them for getting me prepared for college. The piece of the mission that really speaks to me is, is helping our students discover their God-given potential. And as a parent, we want that at home. We want them to be the best that they possibly can be. We see their potential, and to have other people who aren't related to them see that too and help them foster that, that's an amazing thing. It's a wonderful opportunity for the alumni and for the community at large to invest in the future because when they were students here, somebody invested in them that they could get a Catholic education in the halls of this great school. What I would tell somebody to inspire them for this campaign is if they're an, a Rice alum, go through all the great memories that you had to just unlock that love for Rice again. If you care about Rice, if you want to make sure other people, other generations have the opportunity to have that, then you need to get involved. You need to make a sacrificial gift to Rice, to this campaign, um, to help us solve some of these issues and help us be successful. If I was speaking to a new donor, I would invite them in to see it firsthand. I, I think it's important that donors actually come into the building and see the building at life. Nick said he wanted to go to Rice, and Monsignor overheard him talking, and saw me after Mass one day, and he says, so I hear Nicholas wants to go to Rice. And I looked at him and was like, Father, that's a great idea, but I don't think that's for us. Uh, you know. You know, coming from a you know paycheck to paycheck family, I don't think we could. We're the type of people that can afford rice. And he looked right at me and he says, "If one of my altar servers wants to go to rice, he goes, we'll make it happen." And and I kind of like looked at him like, "Okay." And that's kind of when I found out that there's tuition assistance and there's ways that my kids go to go to school here. There's always ways to make things work for your children.